Oh, I get three. So we get Poland. Can I go back? Well, I have no choice but to save Poland. You're welcome, Poland. Sanctioned by the United Nations, the Global Defense Initiative has one goal. Eliminate multinational terrorism in an effort to preserve freedom. The Brotherhood of Nod, an ancient and secret society, maintains strong ties with most global terrorist organizations. Commanded by this man, known only as Cain, Nod's long-term goals are unknown. However, recent activities include expansionary behavior into disenfranchised nations, high-volume investment in global trade markets, and aggressive manipulation of international mass media. These efforts are suspected to be funded by Nod's access to vast Tiberium deposits. Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. Delta Sierra Echo to Commander, approaching our next objectives. We're just crossing the Bolaris border and we've got a problem. Nod ambushed one of our convoys and made off with a good supply of activated pellet rods. Sounds harmless, right? Well, those rods are step one in slapping together a nuclear device. We gotta get him back. Shepard's still offline, so we're acting without confirmation, but I'm betting that this is too important to wait. Take a small force into the Naughty camp and get those rods back before their birds can pick them up. The rods were packed in transport crates. I doubt Nod's had time to transfer them, but who knows. Keep your eyes open. Give him hell. Oh right, this is one of those. Okay. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Reporting. Okay. Reporting. Affirmative. So that was kind of a bad first it. salvo. Right away, sir. Moving out. Right away, sir. So let's explore the non Tiberium area, if I can. I'm going to do more damage to my own dudes with my grenadiers than my enemies are. Let's see if I can do anything interesting here. Nope. I don't actually know if going up here was actually even a worthwhile option. Uh, let's see, the yes sir is kind of annoying. You know, honestly, yeah. I know, I know people want me to turn these things on because it's iconic and also, you know, so that I get proper alerts, but the flip side is, it's real obnoxious. Okay. 
gotta make sure. Oh, right, APCs can run dudes over. Uh, there we go. I guess the other APC was blocking the area. How many of you guys messed around with uh, map making? When you were younger. Because it did actually way too much of it. Oh, well, this is going to go poorly for me. I was hoping those guys would be able to get the jump on them a little bit better and save my VCs, but uh, yeah, you sh only units with treads. I guess it kind of makes sense. Well, I won't have to move my units across the Tiberium uh, if I don't have any organic units left. Oh man, I forgot how stressful this fog of war was. Whoops. Freaking bail. Okay. Let's do... Let's do this. Because, yeah, a bad engagement can absolutely just wipe all of my dudes out. And that's going to be rough. I see that guy there. I think we get reinforcements at some point. And if we don't... Oh, boy, this is going to be bad. Here. Let's, uh... Let's let him do that. Have fun, dude. I don't know what your plan is. I do know what your plan is. I keep patrolling like that. Oh, yeah. He saw me for, like, a smidge. And then he came to say hi. Nope, run. You don't need the UI on. Damn it. Ugh, stupid pathing. Let's save again. I always go for super shorthand. Let's see if I can. And it can work. Gotta go for these guys. Oh, well, that's obnoxious. Are they gonna come after me or no? Okay, so that wasn't worth it. Unfortunately, I lack the uh, the raw range. To actually hit those guys, and of course, for reasons, they can hit me. Question is... Perfect. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's gonna have one guy do this. There we go. Perfect. Cause yeah, if I can if I can just take this out, we're not gonna be able to take out the rest of his dudes safely. Uh, but at least guarantee no more reinforcements at the very least. These little games were brutal. They really were. I love them to death, but they're definitely the kinds of games that like, if you d aren't patient and aren't great, uh, they're going to wreck you, which is part of the reason why I was so, like, leery.
Uh, why well, I was so leery about, like, playing this on a harder difficulty. Because my basic assumption was... I was going to get wrecked if I turned it up. I could probably do it. But I just don't want to. I was really hoping these guys would come, uh, try and come and chase me. Oh, that's that's the only reason why you even come up here is just so you can get a jump on that. Uh, so you can get a jump on that hand of nod before actually going to confront it. Well, that's kind of nice. I just started the nod campaign on hard, and holy crap, the AI comes at you. Yeah, I figured. Like I don't. I don't remember too much of playing this game, but, like, I remember having trouble in Red Alert. And so if I was having trouble in Red Alert as, like, a five-year-old, maybe I wouldn't have been that great. But, like, I don't remember being particularly terrible at games. I definitely used more, like, aggressive Zerg tactics that I still use as an adult, so... Uh -huh. See, why wasn't this mission timed? Because timers suck. Like, there are very few games where I'm actually super keen on timers. Oh, you're playing these games at five. Yep. Because, ah. ah. yeah, Red Alert and Command and Conquer uh, more or less came out when I was a child. It surprises me a little bit. Because I wasn't really... Like, I don't remember my dad ever being particularly big into video games, but for whatever reason, I think it was because... Uh... I think it's because all of my dad's siblings were big on the, um... Red Alert games as well. Okay, we gotta we gotta empty this one. Otherwise, it's gonna be a problem. But like, I have had I had three video uh, video game playing uncles, uh, and two of them were huge on this, and the other one was much more freaking dudes in the trees. Uh, the other one, I don't entirely know what he played. He played a lot more like RPG ish stuff. I remember that much. But I remember visiting him at some point a couple of years ago and realizing that, like, oh boy, he actually plays quite a lot of video games. Uh, which I thought was actually super cool. Okay. We're at the tail end here. I think we have enough. We've pretty much emptied out all of the dudes, so unless there's any particularly untoward surprises. There it is. Oh god, that puts me back a fair bit too. <sighs> I don't have my hand on the keyboard. And so, uh, whoops. Well, it's fine. I should have saved. I know I should have saved. But yeah, so because of those, uh, those gamer uncles... I more or less, uh, I guess my dad just kind of picked it up. Because I know my, um, I know my parents weren't very big on video games. My dad kind of was. Like, he played Mega Man with us. And he played, like, the shit out of Diablo. But compared to my uncles, like, my dad never got into it. And I think a lot of it has to do with just the fact that, um... Oh, man, I this one, too. Uh... I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that my dad was always super busy with work.
So the question is... I know my APCs have madcap range, comparatively. I'm gonna keep the Grenadiers behind. They pose as much of a threat to me as these regular enemies do. I am glad the AI ain't be that better. All right, I'm uh, the AI is not actually any better. Uh, let's see, do my uncles know I stream? I actually don't talk to them anymore. Um, like I, I talk to them, or I might talk about them kind of appreciatively because they were cool. Uh, flip side, they're also extremely racist. So, uh, I guess it's almost easier for me to kind of talk about my my extended family in the past tense. I think I saw some of them coming for me. I know they will. But like, at this point, my parents, uh, my, my parents were actually the first ones to cut my extended family off and I was a little bit slower just because like, I don't know. Chalk it up to Okay, here we go. Nope, don't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, chalk it up to youthful optimism. Ugh, these guys are all on death's door. But yeah, wanting to believe better in family? Yeah, kinda. And there's a lot of reasons why I was specifically kind of hesitant to just immediately cut them all off. Damn it. No, God damn it. I wonder, let's go to the options. I'm not using this. I'm going to have attack and move button be the right right click. That way I can specifically select people with left. Yeah, there we go. Less confusion. Uh, but yeah, I was just I was just hoping they'd figure their stuff out at some point and not be super terrible. That never worked. And like, it's a sad thing, but it's also just life. Like, not a, not everybody's always going to agree. Okay, can you guys... They can't pass. All right, there we go. I'm cutting this one close. Main thing is I've got a bunch of healthy grenadiers. Approximately healthy grenadiers. They should be able to take out that tank. Otherwise, we're going to have to start this whole mission over and um, and be a lot more careful. Really, I didn't... I guess it wasn't too much. The biggest issue is I need to lure enemies back through the Tiberium fields. Because if they will, if they do that, then we're golden. There's the tank. Okay, this time it ain't gonna squish me. I ain't gonna wreck my dudes. And I'm gonna corner it. I'm glad it's not trying to squish me currently. Uh, 
Okay, there you go. You guys can take out this one. I'm not entirely sure why there's a crate here and why there needs to be a crate there. Maybe that was actually what I was supposed to cap. Whatever, I got it. War torn Bialystok. Once a happy farming town for peace loving peasants. Today, a slaughterhouse. Yet one more casualty in the insane GDI assault against mankind. Yet another in a series of villages wiped off the earth by the Global Defense Initiative and its misguided leader, General Mark Shepard. And what crime did Bialystok commit to warrant said carnage? Sources indicate that GDI terrorists were convinced that this simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. When will this madness end? Only one General Shepard in his vision of one world order has stopped. This is Greg Burdett, Bialystok. Do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? It worked out. I do not remember these. I remember as a kid memorizing some of these missions specifically so I could avoid them. Let's see. So, I, oh, mission select. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's actually really cool. So you can pick campaigns. There's the covert operations. Then there's the console missions. I remember doing some of the console missions and not really enjoying them that much. Uh, this is almost better than the map, so if I wanted to, I could actually go back and do some of the other missions that I did instead. This is cool. Alright, uh, let's see. Germany West? Can't tell you what the differences are going to be. So, Germany West it is. It's a lie, all of it. GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok a Tiberium Center? Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut? GDI funding discontinued. Security access denied. Initiating tactical isolation procedures. Oh boy. Publicity from Nod media manipulation has resulted in UN investigation into GDI activities. On 23rd of July, eight, at 1844 Zulu, by a 9-3 vote, the UN Ways and Means Committee suspended all GDI funding pending outcome. Command directive attached. Law Some part of me is like, this is ridiculous. Oh. GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status. Like, some part of me is like, this is ridiculous. Like, how would this ever happen? And then I'm like, wait a second. Misinformation campaigns are actually super effective 
even nowadays. So I could I could actually almost see it being Oh gosh, find a GDI ba base and repair it. Why? Okay. If I'm just repairing a base, it maybe won't be so bad. I always hated the missions where you didn't have a base, just because the utter lack of reinforcements and healing was just brutal. So I want to say it's over here. I know with one or two of these missions, I absolutely missed like the base that I was supposed to be protecting. And would, like, just get completely slaughtered. Like, I'd wander my way into the wrong location, and it would just go badly. Can't wait until we can get some repair fields so we don't lo lose nearly as much. Now, unless I'm mistaken... Okay, now that ain't it. I was like, unless I'm mistaken, maybe you can actually uh, destroy the bridges. But I think you can destroy the bridges in... Gosh, was it Company of Heroes? I'm like 90% certain that's not my base. Could be. I guess I should probably save. Red alert, you can destroy bridges too. That, yeah, that was the one I remember. Okay. Pretty sure this is my base. Yep, there we go. Well, that didn't work. I mean, it kind of did. Cost me a lot, though. Okay. That was poor. Let's try... Let's reload. Let's not lose everything. I was hoping I could just run everything over and not have to worry about it, but still. Yeah, you could destroy the bridges and come to your heroes. Yeah. And that was... That was one of my favorite features, honestly. I, I remember doing long endurance maps with my brother. Not to, like, win... Uh, but just to see how long we could survive. With, like, a crazy, uh, like, bunger fortress around this singular bridge. And the enemy would only ever attack. See, there's a key binding to run your enemies over. Oh, really? Because I know there's scatter. Let's see, chat, send message, go to. Control, and force move is alt.
Okay, so we can also make some light scouts if we want to. But remember, right, though, like one of the earliest strats is just to go hella min minigunner and just go nuts. I think I have any means of healing here. Well, question is, how do I want to do this? I don't have too much. I got a fair bit of Tiberium. I'm just going to go a little nuts with these guys. Biggest fear is they're going to sneak up on me. From one direction or the other. That was a that was a plane that just kind of went by. Well, bye. Yep, never mind. I need you guys here. Well, do I? Yeah, let's just get another one of those. I'd love to see the stats at some point on, on the differences between, like, HP and armor on one of the light jeeps versus an APC. Because I don't think I've ever actually checked that one. Oh, well, that was less effective than I want it to be. I should probably put my tanks in, in front. Okay, that's a bit better. That guy... set on fire. Forgot they used that animation. Okay. So far so good. Oh right, I don't have a command center, so I can't build I can't build anything. be okay. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... I guess I'll just collect all my dudes over here. Because at this point, they're not going to be sneaking up on me. Unless they come out of this little nook. Ditch the idea of maybe grenadiers? I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I always really loved the idea of the oops. I always loved the idea of the Nod uh like the, the unit factory for Nod. There's something just really cool about airdropping. Airdropping? Like plane delivering your units at regular intervals instead of actually building them. Uh, we're gonna have some casualties. But as long as it's my unassociated unit cloud, then we're okay. Now 
That went poorly. That went really poorly. I should save a little bit more. Whoo, boy. I guess. What we could do is actually get some NGs. Camp is base, lure out what I can. Uh, let's see. Camp is base, lure out what I can. Probably try and kill his harvester instead of bum rushing him. Y'all are too polite. Oh, let's see, there we go. But yeah, camp is base instead of rushing him. And then specifically, I think what I am going to want to need to do... Gosh. Hmm. I think I might want to NG rush him. Oh gosh, they're so expensive though. In this version of the game, the AI has infinite money. Yeah, I'm aware. I mean, they've always had infinite money. It was just slightly less infinite previously. Go back, go back. I hate this Canadian AI, where they all kind of wait for each other, and like, wait for them... Like, wait to path around a little. Like, I don't know how to describe it apart from Canadian AI. Where, like, in other games, the units will move as a cloud, but there's kind of this, like, weird hitbox that all your units spe spe uh, specifically, like, have to kind of obey. Um, and so they will oftentimes politely wait for the unit in front of them to, like, move out of the way. And it's, uh... It's odd. Okay. I got plenty of money if I can actually get these guys in here. If I can take his, uh, refinery, it's, well, maybe not his refinery. If I can take his unit thing. That would make my life easier. We just barely have any money. Sucker is mad slow. Uh, let's see. Do I want to go for another Light Scout? Go for an APC or Unassociated Cloud of Dude Men? I guess other easiest thing? Seeing as he has the infinite money, I can just take it kind of slow. I want to kill this Harvester though, because this Harvester is like one of the biggest immediate threats to my guys, purely just because like... He's going to run over... Even if he only runs over, like, three of them, that's a lot. Uh, let's go four and let's get a light scout. Okay, got it. I hate tanks. 
God damn it, they just walked right into all of them. Uh, I love the scatter button, but it is just the worst. All right, time for just an unassociated cloud of dudes. Uh, cause that's the only thing that's going to work. We lost so many of my guys cause I pressed the scatter button and they don't have like a plan when they scatter. So they just scatter in front of the tank and get squished. Ugh, I hate it. It's this game that specifically made me stop using, uh, infantry like at all when I play these video games. Are they all scattered together? Yup. I mean, luckily we won the engagement. We're good to go. But, uh... Oh, that could have been better. Uh, that's fine. All we have to do is bum rush, get the two NGs uh, within range, and then just sell their base. And then after that, I'll just have to... get rid of that. Kind of at my own pace. Uh, insufficient funds, you say? Yep. I live that poverty life. I understand how it feels. Hey, and we don't have to worry about Harvester coming after me, which is good stuff. Can't believe EA has kind of sat on the CNC series for a bit now. I, it's because RTSs are extremely hard to de design. There's a reason why so few companies make RTSs anymore. You know, back in the day, you used to be able to just more or less make a competent RTS and everybody would be super cool with it. And then people started getting standards let's see I just saved I think we should be fine I'm gonna micromanage these guys if I can You guys want to actually fight here? Alright. I don't necessarily win. But I win enough. Alright. Uh, hey, I can make some rocket soldiers. Technically, the smart thing would have been to actually cap this thing, maybe, but like, whatever. Let's see, I'm just gonna get a couple of rocket soldiers. Duty part is we can kind of just leave these guys here, but you don't even have a command yard, do you? Oh, he does. Kinda, let's just solve that. Can't have him making a, uh, a barracks in here. Now I wonder. We should probably go for the power plants real quick. I'm not sure if these things actually give a shit about power, though. That's the one issue. These guys are actually really effective at taking out buildings. I, I'm i so used to, you know, the basic foot soldiers just doing absolutely nothing. No, it doesn't, doesn't look like we can actually do damage to that. All right, whatever. What the hell? What? I don't pretend to understand what the hell that thing was doing. Well, all right. Get up here, let's, uh, let's finish this one off. This one's kind of super slow. Uh, that's why I like the missions where I just have access to a little bit more than I normally do. Uh, tanks. Give me some tanks. But 
But yeah, I was hoping these things would actually run out of power uh, if I took out the power plants. I'm pretty... I'm pretty sure they're supposed to. Or maybe it's the uh, the bigger... Well, I know, I know definitely the obelisks run out of power. But I've done that before. Well... So you wonder what's planned for tonight. Just this. I would like to play other games, but I've just been kind of burnt out a lot lately. Like, I play a lot of video games for a living, obviously, but I've been playing a lot of really kind of busted early access games, and, and that's starting to wear on me extremely hard. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to play a game that was done. Alright, so we're gonna have these guys bum rush first, and then I'll have the rocket troopers go in. They're all dead. How did they take damage? Did they walk over like a smidge of Tiberium? Uh There we go. She's in the AI, because I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's why I like the rocket troopers better, because they don't have quite as much friendly fire, I think. No, it's still pretty bad. Whatever. We're good. What are you going to do now, Nod Boy? You're going to do nothing. Oh. That's all I had to do left. Hey. Uh, but my other thing with uh, specifically uh, playing specific things, other things, so on and so forth. Uh, I have a bunch of games coming out this upcoming week that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, shoot, what was the other one? Desperados. And there were a couple more, and I'm sure, I'm sure, like, I should probably check my list. Uh, do we... Is that it? Alright. I guess I'll just build some light scouts, see if I can find it faster. Um, gonna do is maybe do friendly fire, but they're super OP versus infantry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, biggest beef is just that they are too fr unfriendly with their fire, and that's kind of rough. Uh, let's see. Wonder are you aware of the sandbag cheese? Nope. Never even heard of it. Because I, I did almost all of my gameplay of the Red Alert series when I was very young. So as a result... Oh, there we go. So as a result, like, any emergent strategies, meta, meta strategies, or just tricks, I don't, I don't have any of that stuff in my brain. Because straight up, like, the internet barely even existed back, back in those days. There we go. That took a lot longer than I meant, meant for it to, but that's okay. I kind of appreciate all these dumb allegorical, like, let's show off our 3D skills cutscenes. But I do really miss when, after every mission, you had a bunch of random people just grandstanding in front of the camera. Because that, that was what I loved about Red Alert, is that every mission felt like it had impact. 